guys, Adam the OT back again. And this week's activity is one of my very favorites for developing strength and stability in the tummy, the shoulders, and the upper limb. All very important things to develop for little learners. It improves things like sustained attention and sitting tolerance at circle time and tabletop. It's also very often an overlooked part of handwriting and fine motor skills as well, and developing that trunk, shoulder, and upper limb stability that helps us be more dexterous and controlled with the fine motor. So this week's activity, I'm going to get help from my little assistant, Mia. Yay! <laughs> so Mia, what is today's activity called? The washing line. The washing line or the clothes line. Are you ready for a workout, Mia? Yeah. You feeling strong? Yeah. Let's show them the washing line. So what we need for this one is we're going to make a little clothesline. You're going to use a chair, like a little kid-sized chair, but it doesn't have to be. Anyone can do. This doesn't have a crossbar in it, so I'm going to turn up this way. And because it doesn't have a crossbar, I'm just going to use a rubber band stretched across the two front legs like that. All right. I'm actually going to put another one over the back two legs for a slightly harder variation when using that. Okay. Now we can do this any number of ways. The whole position is called prone extension. It means lying on your tummy in that kind of Superman elevated position. Okay, we can do it with me and lying on our tummy flat. You can do it with a tummy on the pillow. Whoops! Can you know, we just lie down and put your belly button in the middle of the pillow for me? Okay. So what? All you're doing there is because Mia's body is a little higher than her arms and legs. When she reaches out, reach out just to touch the chair like Mia. So she's in that oh, elevated Superman position. My favorite way to do this, so we came to the most fun, can you come back there for me? Is to do this on a ball, like a small exercise ball, or this is called a peanut ball. This is Mr. Peanut. Say hi, Mr. Peanut. Hi, Mr. Peanut. Okay, move back just a little bit there, Mia. And this is one of my very favorite pieces of exercise equipment, O2 equipment. Put your belly button on top of Mr. Peanut, Mia, and put your hands on the floor. All right. Now it's really easy to grade this. The further Mia comes forward, you can see more weight come on her arms. Just roll forward for me, Mia. So weight on her hands. You'll see her toes lightly start to go tipped over the floor. And as she comes forward more, her toes will come off the floor. Okay. So she's weight bearing more on her arms. Now I'll just adjust the position of the chair closer. Means it's easier further away. Means it's more challenging. To start off with, I'll make it really obvious. Mia, can you take that peg? Peg it on the clothesline. You're hanging out the washing. Okay, you can put that peg on the clothesline for me. Okay, nice and smooth. Now you see as she lifts one arm, now she's weight bearing all on one limb. Same again, Mia. Yeah? Now instead of saying do right, then do left, I'll just be a little sneaky. So if I put the peg on her left sleeve, then she'll have to use her right arm to get it. Go for it, Mia. Yeah? If I put it on her whoop, right sleeve, then she'll use her left arm to get very natural. Now it can be a little bit sneaky. If I put it on her back, she'll have to do some funky yoga uh, uh, to figure out how to get that. Or if I put it on her leg, she'll roll all the way back or do a wild thing sort of position to get that. All right. If I move it a little further forward, so we have all this crossing midline, we have right, left, weight bearing. As I move it further away, you see her really have to stretch out. And Mia, this time I want you to get up really where it's windy, up on the tall one now. So it's a little higher, a little further away. But because Mia made the motor plan at the very beginning, she's confident in her ability to do that. Same again. If I want to be really tricky, I'll move it further away. So as, go for it Mia, put it right up on the top of the hill. Now you see the ball's almost on Mia's knees. There's so much weight bearing going on that upper limb, but she's not thinking about reps and sets. She's just thinking about the kind of silly game we're playing, okay? Last two, Mia, right out there. Now you'll see this time the ball will almost be down on Mia's knees. Is that tough, Mia, or is that okay? Okay. Oh, you're so strong. And one more, all the way out there to the top of the hill. Fantastic. Stuff, oh! Very good. And big it on. Very nice, okay? And you don't want the child to get all anxious in the ball. So do that little rocking back and forth, belly in the ball. So a little rocking back and forth first, just getting used to it. And make it so it is easy and convenient 
if she's going to tumble off the ball, that's no problem. You want to be kind of pushing the edge of that ability, and then if she does fall off, it doesn't feel like failure, it just feels like silliness. So we have those giggles we just saw. Great job, Mia. You feel strong? Yeah. Right fraction? Very nice. And that is the clothesline. Say bye. And that's it guys, that's the washing line. So really brilliant, as I said, developing postural stability, core strength, shoulder stability, and strong upper limbs, which help us be strong through our biomotor skills as well, like holding pencils or eating lollipops. Mia, she did such a good job, she gets her little congratulatory lollipop there, okay? Did you have fun, Mia? Yeah. Was it tough in your arms and shoulders? Mm, a little bit. A little bit. But you don't have to be too much of a drill instructor. If it is tough, the child will naturally sort of move back towards the tiptoes and they can kind of make it as hard or as challenged as they want themselves. So they can control the ability. It never feels forced. You don't have to count reps or sets. The game itself is self-correcting. So all you get to do is add to the fun, okay? Thank you, Mia, for your help. All right, and if you want, if you like this video and want to stay updated every week, what do they do, Mia? subscribe and hit that little like button as well. Thank you so much. And for this week, that is Mia and Adam the OT.